Hey guys, I'm going to open this video up with this new poster that I got from Amazon. I think it is so flippin' awesome. I love it. So I went ahead and ordered another one now. Um, yeah, this, this the detail on this is awesome. It's from Victoria Francis. Oops, Victoria Francis is the author. Or author, the artist. But yeah, I mean the background on this, the details on this, it is just so so cool. Anyway. Yeah, and there's my Edward poster that we're going to throw darts at. Okay, so. <clears throat> I am here to do a book review on Ruined by Paula Morris. And the cover is beautiful. I love that cover. That's what pulled me in to getting it. Um, and also for the fact that it's a ghost story. So I'm going to go ahead and read the back to you guys. I don't always do that, but this review is not going to be real long. Um, so I kind of, I guess, want to put something into it. It says, Welcome to New Orleans, city of voodoo and beauty, of hurricanes and hauntings. Rebecca couldn't feel more out of place in New Orleans. She's staying in a creepy house with her aunt, who reads tarot cards. And at her snooty prep school, a pack of filthy rich girls treat Rebecca like she's invisible. Only gorgeous, unavailable Anton Gray gives Rebecca the time of day but she wonders if he's got a hidden agenda. Then one night in Lafayette Cemetery, Rebecca makes a friend, sweet, mysterious Lizette. There's just one catch. Lizette is a ghost. A ghost with a deep, dark secret and a serious score to settle. As Rebecca is drawn into a web of curses and cryptic customs, she uncovers startling truths about her own history. Will Rebecca be able to right the wrongs of the past, or has everything been ruined beyond repair? So, this book was... 200, no, 309 pages long. The text is, if I can find a page here, it's like this, so it's not bad. These pages are really stiff. Um, I think I said that when I first got it. You can just hear it. Um, so anyways, I gave this book two and a half, three stars out of five, um, the idea of the book was good. I like the whole ghost story thing, but I didn't have, I didn't feel anything with the characters. The main character, Rebecca, is left to stay with her aunt in New Orleans while her father goes away on business to China. And so she ends up going to this prep school that her cousin goes to. And, of course, there's this group of snotty people, you know, girls mostly, um, that she ends up falling into with. Um, she gets into a couple little things with them, different things with them. And she lives, her aunt lives, like, across from the cemetery, so she sees this group of people going into the cemetery on Friday nights, and so she goes and spies on them. And when she goes and spies on them the first night, she runs into Lizette, who it said on the back cover is a ghost. She doesn't find out she's a ghost till like, the next time she she meets her. And, uh, she isn't too spooked out about that. Um, in the beginning, she didn't believe in ghosts, and then she met Lizette. Well, her aunt doesn't want her to have anything to do with the cemetery. She doesn't want her to have anything to do with these group of friends. She says that it's just really bad. Um, they're no good, and so on and so on. So she has to actually sneak around to go to the cemetery, or sneak around to, um, talk to any of these people, which actually the only person she really talks to is Anton, um, who already seems out of place in, with these group of people. And, uh, cause of course she doesn't want her, her aunt to find out. And the story is based on a ghost story. It's based on a curse. Um, and Rebecca is somehow mixed up in it. Um, but you don't find out till later. And I'm not going to tell you, obviously, exactly what or how or why or any of that stuff. But, um, so that whole thing was it was pretty neat. And you learn a little bit of history on New Orleans. Um, you also, you know, talk about Hurricane Katrina. Um, a little bit, so that was kind of neat. But what I did not like is I didn't feel any kind of connection to the characters. Uh, there was uh, once you talk, when you meet these characters, there's n you don't really learn anything about them. I guess um, there's really not much to them. So it was just like 
It was like this story was told, but it was only skimmed across almost. You don't, like I said, you don't get to know any of the characters. Um, and I felt like stuff was skipped over and kind of here and there. Um, I don't feel like there was any anything uh, solid or concrete. Um, it, it just kind of seemed mumbled, jumbled, whatever. Um, and like I said, my big, my big thing that I frowned upon was the characters. Like, I just, you just don't get to know them. Um, at least I felt that way. So, yeah, I just, it wasn't horrible. That's why I finished it. Like I said, when they talked about the ghost story, the curse and all that, that was interesting. Um, but there wasn't, there was like one part that was kind of like a climax, I guess. Um... But it was like bits and pieces, I felt, um, where it didn't get too much into detail about anything, um, except for the ghost story. But it didn't, I don't feel like the whole story tied in well to it. So I feel like everything that went on in the story was almost like an island unto itself. Um, I mean, everything went together, but it didn't, if that makes any sense. So, um... Yeah, so that's my, my review on Rune by Paula Morris. Okay, you guys, have a good one.